Ah, oh, we open the episode with Evelyn's ugly daughter. Child, them low cheeks, hammerhead eyes, and sallow skin. I'm sorry, Evelyn, you more interesting to look at. Oh, oh, Jackie's toes. Ooh, I don't know if those is Doug's feet or Jackie's feet. Why that first toenail so thick and discolored? Why is the pinky toenail kerneled? Why your feet the color of your socks? You ain't washing your legs and you ain't washing your feet. Why are your feet discolored? You wearing black socks and letting that dye just sink, just seep in. Bet you're sleeping in them. So Kristen going over the shit that happened at the party that she's disinvited to the wedding and Jackie say, well, go on and squash that shit like grown women. What do you know about grown women, Jackie, other than you're old? But you're not grown. You're not mature. You're just old and discolored. Who the hell is London and who she gonna squeal on? I I'm confused, but we gonna find out. They got a messy ass family. I'll give them that. Oh, and in walks Jennifer with fake Fender. Oh, jeez. This confessional look, Jennifer, your breasts look like a butt. They don't look bad, but, um, no. I ain't even gonna put the shit up because YouTube gonna flag it for being inappropriate. But your mom passed three years ago and you still whining about it. Heffa, I'm gonna need you to get the fuck over that. I'm sorry for you, but, uh, we can't rest on that laurel all our lives. Jen, the ladies are attacking you because you ain't shit and you start shit and this show is about shit. That's why. It's how you earn your meager living. Since that naughty fool left you with nothing but a baptism embarrassment. Jackie says, are you going to say you're sorry to shitty your nostril? Jennifer like, look, I ain't groveling. I'm here. I got my contract. Y'all got to use me. So fuck Shawnee. If she want to have an attitude, let her have an attitude. We all going to get our coin together regardless. Regardless. Meanwhile, across town, Tammy working out with OG. Oh, OG is retiring from football, and she said it like it was something that packed the stadium, like it was something people watch. Honey, that was, you know, just a way for lesbians to blow off steam and meet each other. Let's be real. But you really gonna keep this, this makeup. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. So OG is filling Tammy in on the drama that happened at the party she ran out of. Then they gonna call Malele, who trying to get everybody back together in the Byron family. So Malaysia's gotten everybody to agree to sit down and talk, including London, which is one of their daughters, I guess the grandpappy. OG knows something, but she ain't spilling the tea. Meanwhile, across town, stylish Evelyn and style challenge Shawnee O'Neal get together for a lunch. Oh, Lord. Here come Heffa Christie in a Muppet red coat. Girl, you skinned Elmo for that, and that's foul and fucked up. Shitty O Nostril is done with Jennifer Williams. Fortunately, Jen always has a place on Pop Bros. Ooh! <laughs> Evelyn said, I'm sick of hearing about Jennifer's mama. Let that woman rest in peace. I'm sure she turning over in her grave because of your bullshit. Oh, God. Jackie's determined to try to get everybody together and fix this. Because you messy. You don't sense no love nowhere. These women can't stand each other. That's why we watch. Just a bunch of hating heifers who ain't got nobody else to hang out with. Oh, Jackie's having a crystal party, and I guess that's where she's gonna try to have people mend fences, but the bullshit will go down. I'm hoping for a skirmish. Maybe somebody will get a crystal to the cranium. Oh, okay, so London is the daughter, and Kristen's gonna be her stepmama. Okay, now I'm tracking, now I'm tracking. Okay, so London is Byron's daughter, and Cece's new stepdaughter. So London says Cece don't put the family first. Well, is that her job? I mean, the truth is Byron is Byron's family. Byron needs to put his family first. So I, I don't know if she running shit or not, but if she's able to, then that's what's in his hoard. So the meeting starts and Kristen jumps it off saying, I didn't like hearing from Evelyn that Byron didn't want me at the wedding. But then Kristen had to take it there with the, that was disgusting to me. You're really trying to put 20 on 10, like, 
Okay, it was a little messy, but I mean, child, boom. Now, CC, you done done something shitty. Let the heifer be mad. You don't have to roll my eyes when I accept your apology. Why are you talking to her like you're her mom? You are not her fucking mom. That, that was way too mom for me. Uh-uh, girl. Tone it down. So Byron is apparently upset that he don't go see his grandchild and Kristen told the tea. And Kristen says, well, what he does, how is that my fault? I mean, it, it ain't. It ain't. Like, it's not even like this is his kid. This is his grandkid. You can be as hands-on or as hands-off. Like, he is not the dad. So then London gets a bit loud. Cece feels ganged up on and she runs out. Ah, you can't make her accountable for Byron's actions. London, I'm sorry. Byron is who you need to talk to. That's it. I I'm sorry. You can't browbeat somebody into being a good pappy or a good grandpappy. You cannot. So they get Cece to come back and she's like, look, I do the best that I can and she start crying and I, I really feel like y'all got to take this anger out on Byron. You are upset about Byron's actions. Cece ain't done shit to you. And she don't run that man. Nor does she really want to get in it with your family. So first, Jen brings a friend to Shawnee's love event that we don't know. And now she got this random white woman hanging out with her. Just picking up extras off the street and spending $25. So Jackie gonna try to convince Jennifer to sit down with Evelyn and Shawnee. Oh, God, Jen, you did the shit people are accusing you of, and you won't fess up. That's why you can't move on. You're a liar and a shitty one. Jen, keep these crocodile tears. So London and Kristen get home and tell her husband what's going on. Oh, God. Now they saying, oh, well, Cece wouldn't apologize. Cece don't have shit to apologize for. Y'all are, ooh, 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 I can't with y'all. And then Kristen, well, your father's upset with me because I said he don't come to see the grandbaby, but I didn't say that to hurt him. It's the truth. It, it doesn't matter. It's nobody's business, and it should not be talked about on a TV show. That, that's in-house shit. You're, you guys are really dense. Y'all are just bit and bound blaming this woman, and I'm sorry, honey, this is just how Byron was going to act. Byron low-key wanted to get away from y'all. He done raised his fucking children. Y'all got your own houses, your own lives. Let him have his wife and his second act. Does he need to babysit? Let him have his second fucking act. I'm sick of y'all. If he lived across the world and y'all only saw him twice a year, would it be any fucking different? Y'all doing too much. I don't know who Phoebe Torres is, but uh, Evelyn having lunch with her, so she can't be good. So she gonna bring this Phoebe heifer to the uh, crystal party that Jackie's throwing. Why is everybody's makeup so oddly orange? That must be that HD TV makeup, but the shit looks like sunless tanner gone wrong. Okay, Reggie and Tammy, fast forward. I, I, I happy for you, can't give a fuck about you. I'm here for the drama. Meanwhile, across town, Byron and Cece are having supper. And she lets him know London was there and it was quite a surprise to her. And to him. London was there and on the track. Oh, God. Now he's saying, well, Kristen ain't never brought the little kid up here. So I, it works both ways. I may not be going down there. But you don't bring your sorry ass up here. So what am I supposed to do? Chase you? Byron said, my son is my son. We gonna always be family. If I never saw Kristen again, I'm fine. Tammy, you really think you can get these girls to say everything they need to say, get everything off their chest and really move on? What would happen to their plot line? What would happen to their paycheck? If they move on, I mean, they ain't gonna be able to cook up new shit. You still mad at Evelyn for fucking your ex-husband that was fucking everybody else that you stole from Spinderella. So no, you don't know shit about letting go. So Lyric and uh, Jazz are very upset with Tammy for eloping. I'm sure them kids knew, but you know, you got to give them a moment too so they can get a check. Hell, the white people do it. Let them get their coin too. <laughs> oh, 
God. The kids is laughing. Terry trying to keep her acting going. She said, but so you don't care. And then she was like, ooh, ooh, I, did, I overdid it a little of that one and, and cracked a bit of a smile. And they got the camera off her real quick. See, she about to bust out laughing. Child, these kids, they ain't the best actors. Oh, God, we getting Suge Knight's son story. I didn't recall asking for this, did you? Oh, okay, he trying to do real estate and, uh, have a Hollywood celebrity real estate show. Child, I don't know how that's going to work because you always hearing about somebody getting tossed up out of their rental. They high-end rental, so I'm, girl, mm, houses in foreclosure, clo, I don't know, no. I don't know, no. I mean, hell, Sean Kingston. You got Sean Kingston on here. You know he ain't got shit. He's gotten sued from every jeweler from New York all the way out to Vegas. Oh, God, you're trying to make that deadbeat, that criminal, that murderer proud? You're an idiot. Oh, my God, love and listings. Love and listings. Love and li Oh, you know I'm tuning into that. I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad at it. It's a cute premise. It's something different. I, I will fuck with it. I mean, you know all of the property is going to be bullshit. It's going to be bullshit. It's going to be a tour of the empty Airbnbs of the greater Los Angeles area. But this is real cute. Love and listing. Child, they are coming with the summer shows. We got the Lil' Kim shit going on uh, mid-July. That's going to be July 31st. Power coming back. Basketball Wives is here. All right, summer. Pose. Shit, thank God ladies night wrapped up on it. Tuesdays are the new hot night. So we get to the crystal gallery for the shit. Oh, God. I, I really hate when people love to say, oh, I've never done this before to, like, be a conversation piece. Girl, you didn't drink some Boone's Farm. Shut up. I've never drank wine before. Oh, like, um, Jasmine Masters said, I've never had pie. You didn't had pie. I'm sorry. I don't believe you. People just love to say shit like that. Don't buy it. Don't buy it. Just go, that's all they get, up. So the girls are having some wine, and Jennifer calls Kristen asking her if she going to Jackie's crystal shit. Oh, gee, and her fucked up makeup are the first to arrive. Oh, but her wig is nice. Who the hell is Vanessa? This heifer showing up, too. So everybody at the Crystal Palace. All right, it's time for meditate. Meditate. Jen, I agree with you. You are not an elephant. Elephants are regal, useful creatures. What do you do? So it's time to hash it out. Evelyn says, yeah, I want to hear from Jennifer. I want to hear about the shack rumor where that was receiptless. I want to hear about the shit with Shanice. Jennifer still is going with the I didn't say anything about Shanice. Ain't nobody buying Jennifer's lies. Shitty old nostril says, you ain't a friend because you showed up fucking with my family. Showing your ass at events. Evelyn said, you saying you grieving is disrespectful to your mother and the woman she was. And of course, Jen is able to hold up the dead mama shield. How dare you talk about my disease, mother? I mean, your mother's dead, like and I never tried to blame anything on my mother. But you just were saying I'm like this because my mom passed, so you were. But, uh, run off, heifer, and slam that dough. Now she tearing up. I, I get angry some days. Oh, God, shitty Odasco! Now you gonna hug her, you fake piece of shit. I can't stand you wishy-washy ass heifers. You really gonna run over there at the drop of a crocodile tear? No wonder you was with Shaq for so long. You silly pigeon. Oh my God. And that's where the shit in. All right, you know what they gave? They gave. Well, I'll see you soon for something.